Mom? Yeah? So there's this science exhibition in Charlottesville next week. I'd really like to go there. So how do you plan to get there? That's, um, what I wanted to ask you. Can you give me some money for the train? You know, Faith, I support you with your ideas. But you know we don't have a lot of money. And isn't that other exhibition just next week? Yeah, but Charleville is way bigger, and there will be much more to see. Look, Mom, this is really important for my future. Sweetie, I'm sure you can be a scientist without these things, and even if that doesn't work out, we will still love you. Yeah, but Dad, I want it to work out. I need it to work out. I'm trying so hard, and I want it so badly. I know. But see, our life isn't bad. I understand you want to show that you are smart, but we can already be happy that we are allowed to live here. No, Dad. We're just like anyone else. We shouldn't be allowed to live. That is a right everybody has, and I'm so sick of it that we're still dehumanized just because we haven't been living here for long. Faith, my sweet Faith, you are right, but... That's just how it is. You know your father and I graduated from school and had good jobs, but they can take everything away from us if we don't appreciate being here. This just isn't fair! You have to scrub floors for a living, even though you can be on the big market. And Fabio has to work instead of drawing his comics because we need the money. And I have to fight every day just so I can have the slight chance of a decent future. Faith, I like drawing, but it's a hobby. I don't mind working, and you don't have to study, you know. There are plenty of other things you can do. No. No, there aren't. see no other option. The situation here is getting worse and worse. My husband barely comes home from work anymore and the neighbors are killing each other. But it's dangerous and illegal. I know. Especially with my little one. But I don't want him to grow up here. I could never leave him out of sight without thinking he could be dead. And when he grows up he might be forced to join the army. I don't want to see that happening. You are right. My little girls are scared. They said school is closed for another week because teachers keep disappearing. But I don't trust these smugglers. I heard that sometimes they just send you back as soon as you arrived. And it's most likely that you will die then. I'm sorry, but we're leaving next month. We're leaving everything behind. I'm gonna close my market and we'll sell our house. If you want to join us, I'd be so very happy, but I can understand if you don't. I think... I think I'm coming with you. I will join you too. She is right. I don't want my family to stay here. Okay. I don't like it, but there really seems to be no other choice. There you are. Weren't we supposed to meet up with the others here? Others? Yes. My friends and family that fled too. Uh, I don't know of any others. If they go with this same company, they should be here. Maybe they got scared and uh, stayed. No. No. There were many others. Whole families. I know they wanted to leave. They should be here. Sorry. Uh, I can't help you with that. Sometimes people just disappear. Better take care of yourself now. No. 
My body lies over the ocean My body lies over the sea My body lies over the ocean Oh, bring back my body to me Bring back, bring back Bring back my body to me, to me Bring back, bring back, bring back my body to me. Last night as I lay on my pillow, last night as I lay on my bed, last night as I lay on my pillow, I dreamt that my body was dead. Bring back, bring back, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my body to 